something to change my outlook on relationships with women was having my, having a relationship with my daughters. And it's like, no matter what me and my daughters go through, I can't throw them away. Yes. I can't say, well, because of the way you talk to your daddy and you disrespectful sometimes, I'm out. So Get a new dad. So we're glad you're not that kind of man. You, 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 you can't do that. You, like, you, you can't. You can't. You can, no moral man can. Okay, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Some people are different, but you know, overall, like you can't throw that away. You got to figure out how to learn from that, move on, and become better. And that's what a relationship is. Okay, all right, all right, okay, cool. You got me that time. All right, don't do that again. Okay, all right? perfect. So don't do that again. And this song for everybody who has not listened to it yet. The man is proclaiming his love and just saying, you know, he's so sorry, but he's also being very reflective. Mm -hmm. So in a moment of reflection for you, what are some absolute non-starters when you are like, the door is closed, the door is closed. You said some non-starters, what do you mean? Yeah, so like the door is closed on the relationship. Like mm -hmm. you in this song, you're saying, open the door back up. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. When is the door closed? When is the door closed? Yes, yeah, sometimes um, the door is closed. What happens when the door is closed? Well, when the door is closed, I mean, if you're able to see it in time, you don't <laughs> let her leave. <laughs> it's, 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 it's called kidnapping to some people, but it's not. It's, it's, it's Y'all, we not, just gonna delete this part of the interview. It's, it's, it's listen. If if you allow that woman to walk out the house, whew, it's gonna be hard to get her back in. Lord, okay. Okay. I, I'm not, not gonna chop and screw this. And put yeah, no, no, not, not not. Not forcefully, I'm, you know, I'm not talking like that, but I'm saying you need to stand in front of that, you need to kneel in front of that door on your knees and say, listen, I understand how you feel. Just don't leave. Okay. Just Thank give me you. some time. Think about the begging. He gonna beg, y'all. Oh, man, what, why not? What do you mean? <laughs> you gonna let that good credit score walk out the door? I'm not. We're Are you not. kidding me? Y'all. <laughs> I'll be cooking. You're going to let that good good home-cooked meal walk out the door? I don't oh, do hair. You know, come on now. You know that good hairdresser. You need that good hairdresser in the house with them kids? Come on now. Oh, my goodness. Y'all ain't cut a food today. So, <laughs> speaking of which, somebody else, you, you've done a lot of begging with this brother now. So, mm -hmm. your TGT bandmate, mm -hmm. he is going through a hard time of his own and being very expressive about it mm -hmm. on the internet. Have you right. had a chance to talk to him? Because this song is really about the repair of something that's broken. Have you had a chance to talk to him or to give him any comfort and love in this time? Um, of course. I mean, we, we, we've talked. I mean, I won't go into detail about, you know, what the conversation was. But, I mean, um, man, d divorce is, is, is tough, uh, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, and I, can, I, I speak from experience. You know what I mean? That was one of the worst years, the worst year of my life going through a divorce. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I wish that on nobody. You know what I mean? And growing up the way I grew up, I never imagined I would ever get a divorce. I was like, I'm getting a divorce. What, what is going on? And I'm so happy there wasn't social media back then because who knows how I would have been, you know what I mean, expressing yeah, myself yeah. And, and all of these things. Like, I understand where he is and what he's going through. I mean, and one thing, but one thing I do know about Ty is that, you know, um, you know, we, he, he, we, we, we all have survived a lot of bumps and bruises, man. And, mm -hmm. you know, we figure out, we figure out how to grow in the spaces we need to grow and just become stronger for, you know, the next situation or the next time around with that same situation. You never know. So, you know, I just, I just, I always pray for my brother, man, and, and, and wish the best for him, hope the best for him. And, but divorce is, man, that's that's tough. It's yeah. tough. And what I really love about not just this song, but your music and what a lot of R and B um does is it taps into an emotion um that especially in our community it doesn't seem like men are able to showcase. Do you feel like your music is really holding R and B together? Like that that music that when you get with your girlfriends or your family members, people sit and say, 
they don't make music like this anymore where men are expressing their feelings and, and even just talking about loving somebody and wanting them. Because our music right now is really like, who, what, when, I met her yesterday, don't need to ever see her again, and I bought her a birthday and that's it. <laughs> well, I think I'm, you know, I'm I'm the bridge. Me and, me and Fat Joe were talking the other day. It's like, bro, we're like, we're the bridges between what was and what is. And mm -hmm. it's our job, it's our responsibility to, to maintain, um, the commitment to the foundation of the thing that we do you know what i mean like when i listen to r and B, I, you know when i think of r and B, I i think of marvin Gaye. you know what i'm saying i think of babyface you know what i'm saying i think of jodeci baby i'm begging baby i'm begging begging baby like that's <laughs> that's music yeah. and so um you know over over time this this there, there's this thing in our community where where guys don't want to seem soft. Um, there's nothing soft about loving a woman. There's nothing soft about catering to your woman. There's nothing soft about taking care of your family. You know what I mean? Um, you know, Jaheem had the song, put that woman first. And, you know, we made jokes about it, whatever. But, like, put that woman first. There's nothing soft about that. Like, it takes a soldier to protect the supreme being. Mm -hmm. You can't protect the supreme being unless you are truly committed to that life. You know what I mean? We are in charge. We are in charge with the protection of the most valuable asset in the universe. Yeah. And that is a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you don't want to look, you don't want to look soft to them, to those dudes with no woman, with no direction. Like, no, that's not, it's not smart. And so we got to get out of this thing in our community where the, the simp word is being passed around, or you a simp, or you a trick, or you a that. Man, I like to take care of my woman. I, I was about to say women, but that was past tense. Oh, right? That, that wasn't going to go well. Um, <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. I like to take care of my woman. I like to spoil her from head to toe. I like, to, I like for her to have things. And she's like, I don't even need this. Well, you got it. Is your <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. And we got to get back to, like, who's teaching these young men to not be that way? Like, who's, I mean, we have to, we have to, like, look at, we have to look at what's, you know, musically, what's, what's, musically, what's popping for us, you yeah. know what I'm saying, as a culture. And what is that music saying? If you look yeah. in the Hot 100 or the Urban Charts, and you look at the top 15 songs. Let's, look, let's, say, let's say top 20, top 20 songs from us. What do they represent? And then, you'll, and then you'll understand why the climate is the way it is. Um, yeah. I'm just in charge of something different. I'm in charge of a different essence that I pray will continue. Um, I'm gonna teach my sons you know, the, 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 the men that are around me, we, we share the same thought process and, you know, they're teaching their sons and teaching their daughters. Like, uh, we, we, we need this information. We need to get back to, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that good R&B, where love was, um, well, love was the leader. You yes. know what I mean? They led with love, like back when Boys to Men had number one songs. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Like, like love was, you know what I'm the saying? Back when, it was the thing. We had TV shows. We had examples of black love on TV. Like it was a thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And now, you know, and you know, now it's all a trap. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta, you know, represent where we're from. But I mean, um, we gotta get back to the love. Yeah, it's, uh, I was uh, talking to one of my colleagues the other day about Midnight Love on BET and how. Uh -huh. you people would really stay up to watch Absolutely. all the R&B videos. Like you yes. had to have it. Like it was like 106 and Park came on. Yeah, you got it. That's prime time TV. Mm -hmm. But Midnight Love was its own thing. And it still Absolutely. was popular and you needed that. And I feel like that is what we need. Do you have any um, young R&B singers that you feel like you're mentoring or that you even just listen to and you feel like gives you that feeling of R&B? Not to say that new R&B is any different, but just that feeling of the essence of it. I mean, I think it's, I, I talk to all of them. I'll tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I talk to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be Trey, CB, Alcina, um, Jacquees, 
Vito, you know what I'm saying? I talked to all of them, even unsigned guys from my guy Terrence, uh, a bunch of men. I talked to all of them. And, you know, with the young guys, I just think that the it has changed. It has evolved. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So for me, the thing that I preach to them is just be honest in whatever it is that you're doing. Just, just, just put your, put your heart on the line. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't, I, 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 listen, you want to sing about your jeans. You want to sing about, you want to sing about your different kind of jean, but yeah, you want to sing about, <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to sing about your Lambo. You want to sing about your, you know what I'm saying? Like you can do all of that. I was talking to, uh, my guy, my guy Dallas Martin, he's got a new artist. His name is Jay Loud. This kid is phenomenal. He's, he's, he's phenomenal. This kid is, I think he just turned 21. You just turn the music on and he goes in the booth and in seven minutes he has a song. Like this kid is, this kid is a monster, monster. And, 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 I, and the same information, I said, listen, you are killing this. Like these new hybrids of, of these guys being able to rap and sing and dance on these tracks, it's just, it's just crazy. And I said, listen, at some point, I'm going to need you just slow it down. I said, like, actually talk to the woman. Talk to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're sitting there having a conversation with a woman, you're not going, da 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 You just don't. You don't. You know what I'm saying? There aren't a thousand syncopations in that conversation. You, hey, you ain't been her. to some of these clubs, some of these people, you are. Some of them talk like that. Listen, the ladies in the, in the comments, they probably like, know somebody who's definitely ba -ba 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 to me before. Yeah. <laughs> like, like exactly. what are you saying to her? And so at some point, you got to slow it down and talk to that woman. Mm -hmm. Talk to her like, like you want to talk to her. Mm -hmm. like, 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 like you want to connect with her. You know what I'm saying? And 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 we and it's crazy because I go in the studio the other day and he pulls up a song. He's just running through songs he's playing. He pulls up this song with this live saxophone on it and the whole thing. And I mean, he is taking his time. I said, uh, young Jay Loud, I'm going to need that second verse. <laughs> him right on into something. Huh? Hey, listen, I said, young fella, yes. This is it. Oh, I'm going to need some of that song there. Uh, allow an old man to participate. That's <laughs> and he tapped in, and I was like, "This is it. This is we. The guy, the young, the young guys can't be afraid of that. They can't mm -hmm. be afraid of that. Like, like I don't. I care. You know, I care if guys buy my album. I mean, I care if they come to the concerts. Like, I kind of care, but I really don't. If it's three or four thousand women in there. I'm okay. You okay? You happy with that? Okay. I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> okay. So everyone in the comments keeps mentioning the same song. So I'm going to ask you, don't kill me. <laughs> what do you think about R&B like broke babies? Don't R &B, hurt me. He's, I'm he's singing. He's don't singing. hurt me. Listen, listen. <laughs> I can't, I can't front. Like, it's catchy now. When it come on, <laughs> I don't jam. I can't front. You know what I'm saying? It's very I can't, catchy. I can't front like I'm like, hey, my bottles of that. <laughs> it's 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 a lot. It's but I, I, I how can I scold them? What was my last big record? When we you know, <laughs> like I. I mean, but okay. But, but what? I, you know what? So like, what's happened. happening is this. Here's what's happening. Like, words aren't taboo anymore. Even ideas, even ideas aren't taboo anymore. And the idea of dressing them up to make them feel better, that's out the window now. You yeah, know what I mean? Good. We are we are in a very get get to it, you know what I'm saying? Moment in society. Like, what you trying to say? Oh, my fault, though, baby. Listen, because I actually um, anyways. Think about a Motown song. When you hear how sweet it is to be loved by you, that probably really is just about having sex. Let me like, say something. Let me say something. I was listening to old Ray Charles and, and some older Ray Charles records, and a record came on and said, let's 
go get stoned. Oh, let's go get stoned. First of all, that's a gospel melody, okay? It's disrespectful. <laughs> and then he talking about some, let's go get stoned. <laughs> what? So it's, it's, it's not new. I mean, no. we've been being direct for quite some time. You know what I'm saying? When I get that feeling, I want sexual healing. Yes. Huh? Yes. Ease my pain. <laughs> you feel me? So, I mean, it's just, you know, this is the time we're in, man. I, you know, I, I you know, I, I, I kind of love that guys just, you know, they're just Say jumping that. out there and getting it how they live. And there's an audience for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's, there's an audience for that. And then there's an audience for people who say it the way I say it. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's, you know, for us poets who like to, you know, be eloquent when we, you know what I'm saying? We like, we like wordsmiths. You know what I'm saying? Like there's, there's, a, there's a crowd for us too. I love it all. You won't catch me hating on none of it. I love that. Tank is not a hater. He's with it. He wants I'm to hear all of the. He wants to hear all of the different young guys coming up. So that's super dope. What can we expect next from you? So you got new singles um, today. So you like today? Is no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at the question. Um, today is 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 can't let it show, and can't let it show is a is a problem. This is a big record. It really I'm, is. It's really a big record, and I and and I was talking to uh, one of my kids uh, um, the other day, and he was like, um, my guy Drew, my kid Drew, he was like, he's like, so what do you do? The record's dropping tomorrow. The way you feel right now, what do you do? I said, I have no idea. He's he's like, bro, you've been in the business this long, you know what I'm saying? You the OG. I said, I know, but when it's a different feeling and 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 it feels like a just a, a moment, like it, it feels new to me. Like it doesn't, I'm not, I don't run this like I've done it before. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I, I, run, I run my campaigns like I've never done it before. I run it like they, they're seeing me for the first time. They're hearing me for the first time. You know what I mean? And so with this moment, with me feeling like what this record is, it's like, it feels like some uncharted territory. I've had massive hit records, but this feels like, you know, for me, it might be the biggest. And he's like, so what you going to do? I was like, I don't know. I'm going to watch and see what's going on. And then we're going to, we're, we're prepared to do certain things, but we're also very prepared to assess and act within the time. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, the song is now, the album is called R&B Money. Um, we, we, we're, we're, we're finished with it, about to start mixing it and getting it together. So we can get that to you guys. We're going to get a couple more visuals to you. Um, Got a movie coming out. Wow. Uh, okay. April April seventeenth called Lust. Uh, oh, one of the Lifetime movies. One of the Lifetime movies starring oh, okay. uh, Tobias Trevelyan, Carrie Hilson, and myself. We just had you Carrie on I mean? yesterday. Yeah, I'm in there. I'm getting. It. I mean, I'm getting a little lusty, huh? <laughs> a little lusting. Yeah, yeah. Y'all may yeah. need to throw this song in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, but just, you know, this year is, is, is uh, I, I really rededicated to, you know, moving very, very strong into the, into my acting and, and into my stand up. Um, and those kind of, those have kind of been my main focuses. We're getting this album out, getting the music to the people, um, getting our artist Feather. Um, uh, she's, she's on the R&B money. Um, Motown collab and, and we have her gearing up from Chicago. Her music is just monstrous. We're getting ready to drop some of that really, really soon. Um, and continuing to build, man. We're just, we just grabbing dope producers here, dope writers there um, to help continue the uh, R&B Money legacy. Yeah, so Tank has his own imprint called R&B Money for people who don't know. So that's that's because I always see you hashtag it. So that is what he is hashtagging. It's not if you people people be asking when they see my chain, they be like this R and B money. What does that mean? <laughs> I said it means it's money in R and B. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so the fans would hate me if I don't at least ask, can we get a little sample of Can't Let It Show? Oh man, I I I uh 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 how did I lose you? Do -do -do. How did I blow that? 
How can we go back? Why did I not choose you? Uh -huh. Instead of a good time, I wasted your good time. I should have been everything I promised. I should have not had to learn it from this. You should have been first. I know it's emotional, but you're not emotional. You hear that part right there? I know it's emotional, but you're not emotional. Like your wife told you. <laughs> been crying, but I just can't let it show. I should be crying, but I can't stop thinking. That's all I got. You got to go buy. You got Listen. to go buy. Go to your iTunes. Buy. Can't let it show. And hear the song. It is crazy. And then the video. I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to play with y'all. The video. The video, so Tank just, listen, he just bust down the whole Instagram live with some live vocals. So mm. you are more than deserving. Everybody go to iTunes, go download it, go yeah. listen to Can't Let It Show. It really is. I'm not even just saying this because we're interviewing. It is an amazing song. I really think it's going to be number one. Mm. It's down. You know how it has that sound? I yeah. know because I'm going to the beauty shop tomorrow. So when I go to the beauty shop, I'm going to see what, what, the, what they're talking about. And that's how you know. Yes. That's how you know. I feel like it's going to be on fire, though. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for all of your words of wisdom. We don't always get to, we don't often get to talk to a lot of black males here at Essence. So we thank you for visiting us at Black Girl Magic Headquarters. Absolutely. And so much luck on your new single and all your new projects. I am always available to you, just so you know, um, to give you the black man's perspective um, oh, wait, don't, don't, don't say nothing but work because you know we're playing at Essence Festival, okay? Now? No, no, I'm, I'm telling you, well, get me there. Y'all ain't had me there in like three years or something like that. I, this is getting disrespectful, okay? <laughs> All right. Listen, my boss is watching like, see, see, look, look what you opened up. All right. Yeah, All right. yeah, I don't know what's going on. I, I, I am about that Essence life. My career started at Essence. Okay, so, now. On. Okay, listen, we're going to have to talk about some things now. Come on, tag me in. Come on, tag, <laughs> come on. Put me in the game, coach. Put me in the game, coach. I'm ready to work. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Tank. And I'm sure somebody will be tapping you. Baby. There it is. I appreciate it. Have a good day. All right, you too.